up guys so today we're going to do a much requested video on how to do a tacoma front end swap on a fourth gen forerunner uh we'll be going into detail on how you mount the fiberglass fenders uh the grill the headlights and the hood um so let's get into it All right, so the main things that we're gonna need for this swap, uh, we're gonna need headlights, hood. Uh, if you get the hood with the hood scoop, you're gonna need the hood scoop, uh, the grill and the fender flares. Um, so where I bought everything, uh, I got the hood off of a guy off eBay. Um, thankfully he was local, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. Uh, same with the hood scoop. Uh, the headlights I purchased are Tacoma Beast headlights. Uh, really good, I highly recommend them over stock OEM headlights because um, how much uh, less thick they are. Uh, the, the stock headlights are super thick and are very difficult to get mounted up um, and make it look good. Um, grill, got it off eBay, and then fender flares, um, which I purchased off of a guy off Facebook Marketplace. They're the McNeil uh, Plus 2 Tacoma fenders. Highly recommend them. They look really cool because they kind of keep the same stock lines. Um, however, you can get whatever fender flares you want. Um, it's all going to be the same as far as mounting that part. All right, so let's get started. All right, we'll start with the easiest thing to mount up first. Um, it's going to be the hood. Uh, basically, it can go in one way. <laughs> um, I utilize the stock hinges um, from the Forerunner, but you can only get one bolt in there. Um, same thing with the uh, windshield washer sprayer. Uh, you can use the same one that came off the Forerunner. Uh, they mount right up. Um, this is the easiest part to start with, and I highly recommend starting with this because this is going to give you your baseline for, for all your lines. Um, next, I would recommend doing the front clip and then start with the fender flares. Um, how I did the front, front clip, um, my two mounting points for the headlights are here and here. I think this is the original OEM mounting point, same with this. And so they're just a little off center of that. And this is the uh, the bump stop that, the hood bump stop that came with it. Um, so to give you guys kind of a measurement. Uh, so it's an inch and a quarter, and then it's basically dead center for the left side. And then for the right side, um, it's a little bit further down. So about three quarters of an inch down and then off of this, it's approximately three quarters the same. Um, and then obviously it's not gonna match the original mounting points on there. Um, so you're gonna have to do two mounting points kind of off center um, to get it to line up. Um, to continue on with the front end, the grill, uh, I have this. Uh, this little bracket is utilized to hold up the hood or the hood up hold up the headlights as well as the grill um, this gives it a little bit more stability um, the important thing that I did over what sorry the important thing I did over what most uh, most guys do is this one inch spacer to raise up the grill one inch so it sits flush with the hood um, I did it on both sides I'll show you the mounting point in a second um, so this is kind of what it looks like all mounted up. I still need to do one more here. Um, but as you can see, this part just rests right on here. I also had to drill this hole out right here. Um, and then there's a bolt that goes through that and attaches both the grill and the headlights. Uh, all right, we'll go over to the fender side. You can utilize the same two fender points, mounting points that you do with the, the stock. Um, the only thing you're gonna have to add is a bracket like this um, i self tapped it in there i'll probably regret that but uh, it works for now and this actually holds the bottom clip of the uh the fender flare um it's a super easy setup um, to be completely honest really anybody who has maybe a little bit of experience with 
doing body paneling and all that uh, can knock this out of the park no problem um, I didn't have any experience when doing it um, so take it for what it's worth it turned out pretty good there's a few spots I'm not super stoked about but it's something I'm gonna keep working on um, until I get it perfect I forgot to mention um, headlights so getting headlights fitted is gonna be the hardest part for you everything else is a breeze fenders are a breeze hoods a breeze the grill for the most parts a breeze once you get it all lined up headlights um, you're gonna have to cut into the uh, core support a little bit uh, to get them to sit back far enough to where it's gonna work um, that's why it's the hardest part uh, I'll show you kind of what I did um, I think most of the guys who've done this mod does it, do it the same way unless you sw swap out the entire core support for Tacoma core support um, which you can do I don't feel like doing it so take it for what it's worth all right so as you can see I had a notch out right here then basically cut straight up from here across and then I hammered all this in um, and pushed it back um, the only modification I had to do to the headlight housing is there's a spot that came out right here about this far that I cut off other than that you don't really have to do any modification to um, the Tacoma Beast housing um, I also added I forgot to mention uh, a Tacoma hood latch it fits the same exact spot as the OEM hood latch um, so there's no changing in that the only thing it adds uh, is this hood catch uh, forerunners the hood catch come comes off the hood down um, so you don't don't have a hood catch even though this the um, the forerunner hood catch that comes with it um, the whole clip right here will work uh, you won't have this little extra piece of safety which I really like having um, and it's a lot nicer to have this than to have hood pins uh, it's easier to install that um, other than that there's no real hard modifications it's just cutting that uh the um headlights that's the only hard part everything else is super simple and straightforward uh, it took me approximately two weeks um to get it set up to pretty much how i like it um if you don't really care about lines as much as i do and it's not going to be take that long for you um, the only thing that I'm really not happy with, which maybe I can fix later, is this line right here, all the way down. Um, that's the only thing I'm not happy with, and I think I'm going to glass across it a little bit. Um, the reason why there's such a big gap is because the Tacoma door is more straight versus the 400 door that's super curved. Um, so that's the only real downfall of doing this that's the only thing i don't really like um everything else super clean super good um so i'm gonna put everything back together uh i'll keep it on video so you guys can see how how i put it back together it's a lot nicer to put this back together it takes like two or three minutes um it's super simple uh so if you're like me and you do a lot of shock adjustments on your truck uh this way is probably the way to do it because Literally, I can take off that whole side in like two minutes. So, all right, let's get back at it. Sorry, one thing I forgot to mention is wiring. Uh, Tacoma and Forerunner wiring are two completely different things. Um, so you're gonna kind of have to wire up the harness, uh, ghetto rig it, as you would say, uh, the harness so it works. Um, so I don't have an exact write up on how I did it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I mean negative positive negative positive into the the forerunners negative and positives um and then i got this adapter from um i think it's an h11 uh, h11 adapter from uh, autozone uh to get this plug to work um, and then again just cut into the stock wiring harness and got that all working
right, so as it sits, how I did it, these are kind of what the lines look like on each side. Um, the only main area where it doesn't match is right here in this area. Um, I'm not really sure how I'd correct that issue. Uh, it doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, everything else is really clean. Same thing on this side. Um, this gap's a little bit bigger. Uh, I might be able to correct it. I just need to push this in a little bit more. But again, not too big of a deal. This is just the main issue right here is all this. Uh, my plan is just to glass over uh, probably half an inch, maybe an inch and uh, fill all this in all the way down, clean it up a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it's super clean. I need to push this out a little bit, but yeah, it's super clean. It looks good. Um, I like the way it looks. I think this is the way Forerunner should have came from the factory. That's just me. Um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, you guys have any comments or concerns, just hit me up on Instagram at I'm Borland. Um, I'll answer all your guys' questions as quickly as I can. Uh, if you guys need any measurements or how to actually put on the fiberglass, I can show you guys how to do that too. Uh, it's super easy. Um, again, the main thing is uh, measure twice, drill once, or cut once. Uh, you don't want to have to fix your fiberglass uh, because you guys did an oopsie. Uh, so that's the main thing. Uh, everything else, it's, it's not hard. Uh, anybody can do it. Uh, it looks good. The headlights look sweet. Let me show you guys actually what the headlights look like. Yeah, so these are what the headlights actually look like. They look mean. I love the way they look. And I got my grill and then my winch up here and I had to cut this all out to get the winch to fit. But other than that, super easy job. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. All right. Thanks for guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.